Fanny Ekwekurede is the president and founder of Christ Life Spring Center, an apostolic and prophetic ministry with a vision of growing men into the fullness of the stature of Christ through the power of the word and prayers. She is a prophetess with a call to the nations, a warrior with the Deborah anointing, leading kings to battle and gaining victory over the adversary. She is also the director of Christ Life Prophetic School, a school that focuses on training and equipping the church to come into and fulfill her prophetic destiny. She is the convener of the Blood of Jesus Speaks Conference, Women Conference, Jewels Conference, and several prayer stretches as the Lord leads. She also hosts several online platforms ranging from When Lions and Lionesses Roar to Women in Ministry, to Mentorship with PFE, through which she trains, prays, and brings God's Word to a host of people across various nations. She is also particular about training women in the prophetic as the call of God upon her leads her to teach Christ in ways peculiar to women and teach women to express their gifts and callings fully irrespective of gender. Fanny is happily married to Dr. Wesley Ekwekurede and together they are blessed with two lovely children. Global Impact Judge, for the very first time, let's welcome Fanny Ekwekurede to the Recharge Conference 2022. I want you to know that from the day that John the Baptist declared in John chapter 1 verse 29, Behold the Lamb of God that taketh away the sin of the world. That day, John was standing to announce that there was a spiritual coup. He was saying that a new regime has come. If you're as young as me, you will remember the military era where one day you just open your television or your father, if your father likes news like my late father, wants to frustrate your full life with, with NTN news. Hallelujah. Go, 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 go. And the next thing you hear, fellow Nigerians, you know that uh, something has happened. So there was a system that was set in, in the tabernacle. But one day, John the Baptist came and he made a proclamation. Behold the Lamb. The day he said that, there was a change of government, a change of priesthood, a change of order, a change of law, a change of everything. The Bible said in Isaiah 61, it said to declare the acceptable year of the Lord. If you are using NLT or Amplified Classic, it will tell you that you are declaring the year of the Lord's favor. So when John the Baptist said, behold the Lamb of the Lord, he was declaring a new jubilee. That a new year has come. And the year, we are not talking 365 days. We are talking over 2,000 years. That from the time Christ died till now, the acceptance year of the Lord. The regime of the Lord's favor was instituted. So if the canopy under you is not favor, you are out of order. You are operating an IOS that is outdated. The new operating system in the kingdom is called favor. It's called favor. He said, I have heard you in an acceptable time. When it gets to the time of favor, 2 Corinthians 6 verse 2, the Lord hears you. And so global impact, listen to me. If God has not heard you before, after this recharge conference, God will hear you. The Lord will hear you from Zion. The name of the God of Jacob will defend you. From this sanctuary, he will send you help. In the mighty name of Jesus. And his mercy will speak for your offerings. In the mighty name of Jesus. And so you must believe and know and understand that you are operating in a new regime and that regime is the regime of favor. Now, if you don't understand the system of that favor, you are going to sabotage yourself. 
And so the Bible would tell us in 2 Corinthians chapter 10, 4 and 5, it says, casting down imaginations, casting down thoughts, casting down high things. Message amplified will tell you pulling down arguments, theories, reasonings, things that exalt themselves against the knowledge of God. That's part of the things that we want to pull down tonight. High things in the realm of the spirit that exalt themselves against the knowledge of God. Let me tell you the truth. You can go through this conference and hear what everybody will say. And at the end of the day, you will not be favored. Not because the men or women of God were not anointed. But because of what I want to explain right now. And so, you know, I'm, I'm pictorial. The Lord teaches me in pictures. I need someone that is tall and a big. Who is that person that wants to act for me right now? Quickly. If nobody is coming, let my protocol officer come. Quickly. Are you taller than me? Be sure you are taller than me. You are taller. All right. Now you see this wonderful man of God. Stay here. Can I get someone that is a little bit shorter than him? Quickly, quickly, quickly. And another person that is a little bit shorter than the person. Don't mind them. Even Zacchaeus got an encounter. Lazugaba yata. Come. There's always a tree for you to climb. Hallelujah. Stand this way. Here. Yeah. All right. Thank you. The Lord has proclaimed this is where we are supposed to be going to. The Lord has declared a new regime. Pastor Yeme will come and he will declare. Pastor Bimbo will come. She will declare. Pastor Lumide will come. He will declare. I will declare the Lord is carrying us on a journey. But you see, before you came here, there are these spirits. Some of them are village people that followed you. Thoughts. Imaginations. Reasonings or arguments. This is your destination, favor. So, Jesus Christ says, if you think in your heart about an adulterous woman, to sleep with a woman, you have committed adultery. Is that not so? It's not only adultery. If you think poverty, you have gotten it. It's a spiritual law. It is already done in the realm of the spirit. In the physical, thoughts look like thoughts. In the spirit, the words I speak, they are peace. This thought, the thought is, I call the village people, meaning in my father's house, nobody, nobody. So no matter how pastor is laying leg, laying hand, relieving, or, there is something inside of you that is telling you that nobody has bought a car in your house. Your uncle tried it and died. This one tried it and died. You did not do anything about the thought. And so the thought became pregnant. Can you just bow and touch him? Touch him. It's solid now. Thoughts turns to imaginations. You will sit down you imagine this favor. You are walking in a place. They say they will promote five people. <laughs> me, I know that they will not give me because that's your thought system is 
wired for negativity. Jesus could not do anything because of tradition and unbelief. No matter what they tell you, there is something that is stronger than the word of God inside of you that will always suffer. You will imagine it. They will say, picture yourself going to Dubai. You say, not today. At least in dream, they don't pay visa to go to Dubai. In dream, you don't need visa to go to the United Kingdom. Inside dream, you can enter UK 10 times and come out. Some of us in our dreams, we can't. Even if your the dream is going towards there, you will catch it and pull yourself because there is an imagination that has been formed in the realm of the spirit that tells you that Dubai is not for your kind. It is consolidated. My brother, bend and touch him. Thank you, sir. Reasonings. You reason the word of God. This thing that pastor is saying, is that what the Bible said? Is that not what the Bible said? What is the Greek? What is the Hebrew? What is this? What is that? Who he help? Hallelujah. I want to know the workings of the word of God. Don't tell me all those things and at the end of the day, we cannot see the functionality of it. You keep reasoning. You keep reasoning. You keep reasoning. You keep listening to me. The principles of God's word is stronger than the principalities out there. what that principality is. The Lord told me one day, he said, when you are worrying with principalities, don't be looking up there and be saying, I'm, I'm ca no, I cast down. He said, no, dislodge the principle. Take out the principle. There is no landing port. He said, for example, in your city, Saple, there's no airport. So plane will not land. If there is no principle, principalities will not land. Dislodge the principles that makes them to try. You tamper with it in the realm of the spirit. It's as easy as that. So when you have reasoned and reasoned and reasoned now, my brother, all of this now, now forms what we call a high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. The Lord say, cast it down. He said, Jezebel's spirit. Jehu, we say what? Throw her down. You don't reason Jezebel's spirit. No, 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 no. It's coming. It's telling you. Just listen to those nonsense they used to say. Eh, if you if you don't drink water, if your heart is doing like this, you have heart disease. Eh? If you don't do like this, you have cancer. If you don't do like that, they, 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 they. see at the point of entry, you are a gatekeeper. Keep your heart with all diligence, for out of it are the forces. Spiritual forces are coming out of your spirit. This one now that was not taken care of led to this one, led to this one. At the end of the day, it became a high thing. What you should have nipped in the board. If you are from Delta State, you will start singing, Jesus is my bulldozer. Amen. Why did you wait for him to become bulldozer? For you to start bulldozing things that you would have taken care of at that level. Church, listen to me. You see this system. So you have, I don't know how you do your prayers here, but in my ministry, January most times, we do like 14 days or 21 days of prayer stretches. No need to bore you with the number of hours we go into prayers. So, there's supposed to be favor now. And pastor has called for seven days fasting. And those seven days, he said, come to the church and pray for three hours because God has spoken that we are entering favor. And we started the prayers. You bump. That's why I say somebody that has this, you know. You can't show carry my weight. Yeah? You, you bump into the high thing. Then, instead of crossing it and entering into your favor. These things sabotage the operations of God in your life. And all of a sudden you will see yourself going this way. This is you that started the prayer with favor and power. You are praying like this, lifting up holy hands. Then all of a sudden you get your one thought to just tell you, you have been praying for five years. <laughs> Nobody heard it. It's a being in the spirit. The way you were doing like this, it is not the devil that is 
stopping you from breakthrough is that a system has been erected in the realm of the spirit and this system will always sabotage you. This system will tell you you cannot be rich. This system will tell you you cannot be prosperous. This system will tell you you cannot be healed. This system will tell you that ah, if the government hey, just forget there's not your type. It will always paint a picture but every time you see this system, you have power with God to cast down imaginations take down hiding you sit down with that thought I told the devil anytime you show me a resume of what God has not done I tell you the truth I will give you 21 things of what God has done so every time he tells you that look at this issue you've been praying you've been praying God did not answer and we also because it's not only you that knows how to talk devil I will show you that God gave me that shoe I will show you the earring he sent to me even the hundred naira Richard can't say if it's a blessing I will show you something else I will pick I won't even show you the big things because I don't want to waste my time with you devil I will show you little little things how God gave me water how God just 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 made me beautiful you know you just pick the little things and you are sitting down and what you are doing by those confessions is that you are pulling down the high thing so that when you get to this place next time in prayer what you see is the Lord has broken for us like the breaking of the waters and so I say to you by prophecy that no longer will you be praying like this and you will get to this place and you will turn back today by the word of the Lord I say parasim. I say parasim. the breaker has gone ahead of you the breaker has gone ahead of you the breaker has gone ahead of you where girls don't marry in your family by the oppression of the breaker break in the name of Jesus break in the name of Jesus break in the name of Jesus where they must get pregnant before they marry by the oppression of the breaker I say break in the name of Jesus whatever has stood as a hiding today we confront it in the name that is above every name. We say break or oh break. Whether they be imaginations, wrong emphasis, kaimosia, ushers watch, the power of God is going to hit kaito siva. I see strange spirit taking off. Loose them. Let them go. Loose them. Upon this house there is deliverance. Upon this house there is deliverance. We place a demand on the finished work of Christ. We place a demand on the blood that bought them. And we say loose them. And let them go. You are loose. You are loose. You are loose. You are loose in the name of Jesus. Give the Lord a shout. Give the Lord a shout. Say, I'm free indeed. I'm free indeed. In Christ, I'm free indeed. No chain can hold me down. We are free. We are free. We are free. Keep rejoicing to go. You are free. 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 Hey, Shanana. Give the Lord a shout. He said, The strangers will hear me and they will obey me. The strangers will fade out of their close places. Ikali Zomete. Jemali Zaya. Ekelo Zuzu Yeta. I can't tell you the number of times that I've had spirits confront me and say you want to deliver these people the greater one lives inside of me not I but Christ I saw the Lord entering the meeting tonight I knew tonight was going to be a, a strange meeting strange occurrences the Lord said I break the stronghold of sorcery and witchcraft spirits spells have been broken the Lord told me before I can. He said some of them are under demonic spells. Break in the name of Jesus. 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 Say 
two step and say I enter a favor hey who am I talking to say I enter my robots I enter my wealthy place favor is my new name I am called sought out Hebziba, the delight of the Lord Hey, I see angels of mercy all over the heart. Shout! No, your angels move with your sound. They are, they are everywhere. They are everywhere. That's the next thing I want to talk on. The realm of the angelic. Are they not all ministering spirit? No need to sit down. We just have seven minutes. Send to minister for them who shall be heads of salvation. When you talk of favor, then you must operate with the angel of favor. There are angels that what is written on them is favor. When they come into your life, they bring favor into your life. You won't need to stress yourself. You won't need to toil. All of a sudden, you will just see that things are beginning to take shape in your life. Because a being stepped into your life. I don't have time to share testimonies or to tell you some of the manifestations of some of the spirits that I have encountered by the mercy of the Lord. Probably because of the office I stand and what the Lord has sent me to do in the body. You know, several years ago, my late father told us a story that he was in Delta State. He was toiling, trying to make something out of life. He said one day he went out and one old man met him and the man said to him, he said, if you stay in Delta, you will not make anything. He said, I see your star in the north. Go to the north. So my father, those days, found a relative somewhere, somewhere, somewhere that was in the north. Entered lorry, 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 found himself in Joss. And that was how they gave birth to us. And that was where the Lord prospered him. Because a spirit told him, go that way. Joseph was looking for his brothers. And a spirit, the Bible said, a certain man told him, they are not here. They are there. Listen to me. If you are scared of the realm of the invisible, you can't operate in favor. Because favor is not from this place. It's our realm. And listen to me, you are not a human being. You are a spirit being. For that which is born of the spirit is not human. It is what? It is spirit. And spirit function in the realm of what? Spirit. So as a spirit, it is your natural vibes to see other spirits. It is because of the fall. That's why you will say let their eyes see. Let this one. No, 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 no. Peter was taken. Prayers was made. Rhoda was at the gate. There is no time for the story. And she looked, opened the door. She, she was not petrified. She didn't fall. I said, oh, the angel of the Lord. She just looked at it and said, oh, it's the angel. It was the norm. It's no angel we want. It's Peter. And she shut the door and left. Probably continuing her thing. And they asked her, who's that? Door? It's Peter's angel. It's no news. The faith that was given to us. They saw angels. Angels strengthened Jesus Christ. An angel met Philip, by the way, and told him, go to this place. And from there, go to that place. An angel can carry you and take you somewhere. One day, I was coming into Lagos. I was a minister at the island. And my flight was shifted, shifted, shifted. By the time I hit Murtara Airport, it was 6 p.m. The meeting was for 7. And one of the speakers called me. And he said, where are you? I said, I'm at the airport. He said, you are coming to Lekki. I said, yes. He said, you will miss the meeting. I said, no, I will not miss the meeting. I will make the meeting. Because three days before then, the Lord prompted me to pray. And while I was praying, he said, deal with the stronghold of Lagos. I kept praying and I was wondering. And the spirit whispered to me. He said, one of those principalities over Lagos is hold up. He said, take authority over it. 
I said, wow, I didn't know hold up was a principality here. And I prayed. And the rest is history. We entered and got somewhere. Is it towards Osho or so? The, Lord, the road was locked. All of a sudden, behind our vehicle, we heard siren. Wow, wow, with light. And you know when they are coming, you give them space. And they parted this way and parted that way. And the car was in front of us. We were the nest. Took us through the hold up. And we didn't see the car again. We got to Blakey Tollgate and met another traffic. And we heard one one again. And it came. And the lady sitting by me, she said, Prophet, what is going on? I said, The angel of the Lord, chariot of fire. They have come to clear the road. Who am I talking to? The angel of his presence. Balagadosia. I'll tell you a story and I'll be out of your faces. Several years ago, the late Archbishop Benson in the Hosa had just gone to be with the Lord. And you can get this from Bob Jones' website. There are two renowned prophets of God in America. Bob Jones was in his room and he's a man that I've had a lot of angelic encounters. And in his word, he said, all of a sudden, the heavens were stared. And he was wondering what was happening. That there was this fierceness and fear. And all of a sudden, he was seeing a vision. He saw this tall being standing in his room, very high, like 30 feet. And then he looked behind him and he saw 12 men, other angels. He said, but these other 12, they were not as fierce as the one in front. And the one in front stood and said, my name is breakthrough. He said, the late, the Archbishop Benson in the house, I'm, I'm quoting it so that you can go and verify from his side, has gone home to be with the Lord. I, we were the angels that were assigned to him. He said, I break through the land and these 12 others, they follow. He said, that is why nobody was able to stand before him. Break through. I still have one minute. Another man of God was praying for funds for his ministry. Prayed this day, seven days fast. Prayed that way. Pray this. This story you will get in Charles Cap's book. Pray that way. Pray that way. And as he turned again to pray in tongues, he saw two beings standing. He said, we came from heaven to contend for the finances of your ministry. And he said, go and do what the Lord said. Push. They went. The next day, was it $900,000? Like crazy amount Boah. Boah. began to enter the third one Sean Bowles praying one day and the heavens were stirred and a man stood and said I am the minister of finance I've been sent from heaven to contend for you Zaga Yamatoliahata let the angel of his presence break through angels ministers of finance are they not angels sent to minister can you say I'm a hell I'm a hell salvation now I activate your angels See, listen, listen, let me just share one home. During COVID, we were praying. I pray with my children. We're taking communion every day by instruction. And one day we were praying. I was getting strange prayer points. I would pray and end, pray and end, pray and end, pray and end, pray and end. And then when I finished praying, I went to sit beside my daughter. As I went there, she pushed me. Then I shifted. I looked at her. It was strange. When we finished the prayers, she said, every prayer point you raise, there was an angel there. He will say the prayer point and then you will say it. He said, when you finish praying, the angel came and sat by my side. That was why I pushed you because you wanted to sit on the angel. I looked at her like this. No, I can't tell you her stories with angel. I can't tell you her stories with angel. My darling, come. Let me do this and go. You can take my things. Zazia to Zeve. Zuzu barite krestofine tuzia and le dozia talia te site inkite ponto si kive siya as it is with my daughter Caris let it open over you let it open over you let it open over you let the strange realms of the angelic be open over you you see things you tell your parents you understand things by divine eyes it is yours in the name of Jesus it flows to your family in the mighty name of Jesus. Receive seeing eyes now. Take it in the name of Jesus. Elisha prayed for his servant. I stand as a prophet. 
let your eyes be open let your eyes be open the Lord shows me things before they happen and they play out like that let that realm be opened over you hearing ears from the Lord let it be opened over you let it be over, over. let the angel of favor follow you somebody shout 